Today, Caddo Parish Sheriff Steve Prater announced he's running for re-election in October. I got a chance to talk with Prater about his plans if re-elected and if there's any new changes he'd like to see at CPSO. We happen to have a community right now where it's not only a dangerous community, it's also people feel scared. Steve Prater has served as a Caddo Parish Sheriff for 23 years. A big issue he wants to tackle is violent crime. It's the right time to get some things done that I hadn't been able to accomplish in the past because we have a citizenry now and a legislature and a city council and a mayor and we'll soon have a new state government that's willing to do something. People are fed up with violent crime, as am I, and I'm ready to lead the charge. Prater said he's working on some new plans to help fight crime. We have the task forces, we have some meetings planned where the community is going to be involved. A lot of new things that we're working on every day, the technology uh, right now. One of our main things that we're going to do and I'm pledging to do is to continue to make the Caddo Parish Sheriff's Office responsive and, and make it a, a public agency that people are proud of. Prater said CPSO is short 60 deputies and they're doing everything they can to serve the community. We have 300 of the deputies that work for the Cattle Parish Sheriff's Office. They report to CCC to hold prisoners that are arrested in Shreveport every day. We protect the courtrooms. We do all the transportation of the prisoners. We deliver all the papers. We have the task forces uh, with the federal task forces that work inside the Shreveport uh, city limits. So there's so much that I hadn't even started on the list of what we do for, for the citizens of Shreveport because they are in Cattle Parish also. The sheriff said he hopes to be reelected again. Mainly, I still have the passion to, to be the sheriff. I have the passion to help people that I had when I first ran for office. The election is in October 2023. Jade Myers, KSLA News 12.